Hello, hi everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon with the Thus Saith the Lord. Praise God, praise God this morning. I pray that you are blessed this morning. I pray that you understand how blessed you are. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah to his name. I have a Thus Saith the Lord. We are in the middle of the great falling away. That's why so many people are negating from the oracles of Jesus Christ. That's why so many people are giving up. That's why so many people are throwing in the towel. That's why so many people are saying, well, I, I love God, but I, I just got to do this. And then when I stop, you know, I'm going to return back to God. We are in the middle of the great fall away and that's why you're seeing what you're seeing but God said do not be dismayed come on you got to understand you might think that you have to do what you have to do I've heard people say that all my life I love the Lord but I have to do what I have to do come on somebody hallelujah do you really have to so God want me to tell you this morning trust him through the good trust him through the bad trust him when you don't see him trust him through it all in Jesus name oh come on somebody hallelujah to his name God will know you trust him. You say you love him, but do you trust him? That's why the great falling away. You're running after money, you're running after things. Don't you understand when you truly run after God with all your heart? Seek him with all your heart. God says, I will take care of you. Come on, somebody. Philippians 4.19. Oh, I will supply your needs. That's paraphrasing. I will supply your needs, your wants. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we have to, this is time of prayer. Very great prayer, preparation, and fasting. I'm telling you, a lot of people are just getting so discouraged. God says, be not discouraged. He said he loves you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I know sometimes when you're going through things, it's like, God, if you really love me, then why am I going through this? God, why me? God, I don't understand. Some of you have served God so faithfully. You have done and you're still doing what God is requiring you to do. But don't you dare give up. Come on, somebody. I'm reminded of Joseph who stayed eight years in prison for something he didn't do. But God was just preparing him. Oh, come on, somebody. I know you've heard from the pit to the palace but let me tell you something you're not even in the pit some of you are just understanding that you are beginning stages of the palace call somebody god has not forgotten you god has not said no just because it's delayed doesn't mean it's denial oh come on somebody hallelujah to his name god is still the same god is not a man that he should lie god wants you to know just to be encouraged and sometimes you might have to be like david encourage yourself sometimes you might have to go up to the mo the mountain like moses oh come on somebody because god is requiring us to have that time with him in this last day this hour this moment this season oh hallelujah to his name he said i'm coming back for a people i'm coming back for my people hallelujah come on somebody this is not an entertainment thing this is a god thing hallelujah he says do you trust him will you trust him with it all remember abraham let me take you back abraham genesis you remember when he was getting ready to slay his son had not abraham knew god's voice he'd have killed this son i'm going somewhere with that how many of you know know God's voice how many are murdering because you don't know God's voice oh come on somebody I'm gonna leave you right there right there right there praise God I pray that you understand what this thus said the Lord is the enemy is trying to pull away from God he will use anything let me tell you something he'll use a man he'll use a woman he'll use your family he'll use your friends he'll use money he'll use a job he'll use a car oh come on somebody whatever the tool is he'll use it and that's why you have to be rooted and grounded in your God because when you are rooted and grounded in your God come what may I will not negate from my God come what may I won't turn my back from my God come what may I won't compromise from my God come what may I'm a hold on hallelujah to his name come on somebody hallelujah hallelujah there's a vexing in my spirit there's a sadness that I that I, that I feel throughout the land prophets they carry the burden of the people so a lot of you are going through it and sometimes you just don't know how you're gonna make it God say hold on hold on because he, this is this is his way to show his glory call somebody don't you know your story will show his glory because this is what he's getting ready to do when he's going to take you out of what you're in he's going to say this and everybody going to say this that had to be God because I don't know how they got out of that situation oh come 
on somebody. God is just using your story for his glory. So don't you dare give up. Don't you dare be discouraged and understand that God has not forgotten about you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. Don't you let nobody pull you from God. Don't you let no money pull you from God. Don't you even, you know, sometimes ourselves can be the worst enemy. Don't you do it. You stay grounded. You stay in the word of God. You stay in the love of God. You stay trusting your God and know that he has not forgotten. I keep hearing it. I have tell him I, I haven't forgotten about them. God hasn't forgotten about you. You don't have to. And I have to say this because I feel this very strong in the spirit. A lot of people are doing things trying to manipulate a blessing. Don't you know when you go outside of God to manipulate a blessing in the flesh, you're going anything that's birthed. In the flesh, you have to sustain. God is not obligated to sustain that thing. That's why some of you get mad and then you talk about God and you say all this stuff, God, why me? But if it is birthed out of the spirit, God is obligated to see that thing all the way to the end. Hallelujah to his name. So what are you birthing, people? Is it flesh or is it spirit? Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon with the great falling away. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Men change, people change, job change, money change, situations change. But I'm telling you, God will never change. Hallelujah to his name. God bless you. I love you in Christ. And I pray that you stay encouraged. Be encouraged. Sometimes you might have to encourage yourself. That's okay. God bless. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Have a blessed day. Make it a blessed day, no matter what's going on. Hallelujah.